Never gonna quit, never gonna stop Push yourself hard till you reach the top Never gonna quit, never gonna stop Push yourself, put yourself to the top Hey, good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, you know, now that you're kind of getting back yourself acclimated on the team, I know you were out for a short period of time. Uh, what's been your focus as far as just redeveloping your game? And more importantly, what are you latest focused on going in tonight against New York? Um, well, personally, um, I've just been trying to get back in my rhythm, you know, just not um, not playing a couple games. Obviously, you get out of rhythm. So just um, getting shots up, getting plenty of shots up and doing um, – multiple repetition of the plays and things like that. Um, as far as getting ready for tonight's game, um, the game plan is pretty simple. Just execute our plays offensively, make sure we're very um, decisive in what we're doing on offense. And then on defense, obviously, we want to make sure we close the paint and um, play team team defense for, for bad cuts, make sure we're in help and, and get this dub. And along those lines with the bad cuts, uh, you know, I know she won't speak on it, but can you just talk to, you know, the head of the snake, Courtney Vandersloot, and just her impact this season having a MVP year? Yeah, um, Courtney is the, you know, she yes, she's the head of the snake. She's our um, our general, our team general, and um, basically, you know, she as long as we're staying in the game plan and doing what we need to do, uh, everything else will just kind of speak for itself. Appreciate it. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Howard McDowell. Hi, Cheyenne. Howard McDowell at the Nets. Good to chat with Hi. you. Again. Hi. A um, couple of things I want to talk about. Um, just first of all, in terms of your efficiency, uh, somehow that just keeps going up and up every single year. You've got the best true shooting percentage of your career so far this year. I'm wondering whether you think the ability to rest in the off season, which is a relative uh, scarcity for you, uh, given the way you normally play 12 months a year, you think has contributed to it? Um, yeah, and I mean, one thing I could say, like in the off season, the little off season that we do have, um, I definitely put the work in to improve. Um, you know, for example, my shot, my three point shot, like mm -hmm. my brother um, really helped me a lot with that, like just repetition, just getting shots up and working on my form, working on my release. Um, so just, I always try to improve every year in, in, in every part of my game. Why are you able to not trade rebounding for uh, the amount of uh, times you're getting shots at the three-point line? By which I mean, uh, you know, you're 38.8% this year from three, but your defensive rebounding percentage, your offensive rebounding percentages, they're all at uh, at the same level they've been. So how, how do you manage to sort of have your cake and eat it too in that way? I think just staying active, you know, um, I'm always going to get in there. Naturally, I want to gra grab the board. You know, that's been that's been my mindset since college, you know, go get the ball. So I think even though I, I'll stay on the perimeter for an open shot, I'll still make sure I get in there to rebound. And then, you know, I remember us talking about how you really developed confidence in your offensive game in Poland uh, overseas a couple of years ago. For you to be at that point now, does it? do you feel like in this WNBA you can score against anybody at any time? Because it certainly appears that way. 100%, yeah. I'm at that point now in my career where I could say that confidently. Okay, and, and, and I don't mean to monopolize you, but just if I could talk about your partnership with Sloot. Um, if you look at the two-person lineups, uh, you guys have – the best uh, net rating and the best offensive rating of any two-person lineup here in the, uh, among everyone on the sky. What is it about Sloot's game that makes you the best offensive player? Um, Sloot knows how to get me the ball. Like, she's the most amazing point guard I've ever had the privilege to play with. She knows how to get me the ball, when to get me the ball, where to get me the ball. So it, it makes it a lot easier to score. <laughs> And I know you, you've obviously been a student of the game for a long time. If you go by assist percentage, Courtney Vandersloot is now in a position where this year will place third all-time uh, assist percentage of any point guard in league history. First and second, also Courtney Vandersloot seasons. Do you think there's uh, any argument that she is the finest point guard, the finest distributor in the history of this game? Yeah, no, there's no argument. It's, I think at this point, that's just like factual. Like at this point, that's just what it is. Like it has been a privilege to be 
start with I've been with Snoop since I was a rookie, so it's it's just gonna continue to get better and better. I'm really it's just an amazing honor. And then just the last one, was there like a salute moment, like a salute pass to you, a salute thing you saw where you're just it even stands out to you as like, oh my God, this is like quintessential what she does. Was there a distinct moment when she passed me the ball? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It happens like probably like once a game. <laughs> like she always has one pass. And sometimes it don't even be to me. Like, for example, last game, the, the left-hander to, to Ruthie. Sure. It's like that was the moment right there for me when I was just like, oh, I love Sue. <laughs> always a pleasure. Yes. Carolyn Peck. Hey, Cheyenne, your team seems to be coming together. Uh, and I think a big part of that, too, is the improved play from Ka from last year to this year. Mm -hmm. What improvement have you seen from her? I mean, um, like I've said before, I, I already knew what Ka had, had – um, up her sleeve, I guess you could say. Kai has always had the capability to do what, she do, what she's been doing. Um, so at this point, it's just the opportunity that she's been given, and she's she's taken that opportunity, and she just said, "I'm going to conquer this opportunity," and that's and that's and that's basically what's going on. I'm proud of her for conquering it, and there's even more to come. You know, there's even more to come for her. Her potential is endless, and at this point, I'm just excited to see what you know what we have what we have in store as a team as a whole. Um, with her distribution and what she does and gives to the team. And one of the things that James Wade talked about is you guys were searching for consistency. Now that you're a little over halfway through the season, do you think you guys have found that? I think that it's, it's definitely coming together. You know, we're not completely there yet, but we're definitely on our way. Like, we're improving every game. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Jake Meister. Hey, CP, hope you're doing well. Um, kind of along the same lines with having three uh, games on national TV this week, how does that play into um, pushing the conversation for SLU getting the MVP? Debate she deserves and also Cobb pushing toward the most per player conversation as well. Um, uh, well, obviously getting, you know, getting national, national television recognition is awesome. I'm really excited for that. Um, as far as SLU getting MVP and Kalia getting most improved, that's going to happen in itself, regardless if we were on TV or not. Um, the numbers don't lie. The stats don't lie. It is what it is. These players have shown what they're capable of, and they're going to continue to show it. For sure. And I um, haven't seen you in a few days, so I just wanted to get your perspective on um, how the W has just handled the recognition toward Kobe Bryant's legacy in the past few days. Yes, it was, um, it was really uh, emotional, obviously, um, but also really, really nice that we were able to do that and recognize him. Shout out to Kobe. That's very cool. Thank you. Yep. We're dedicating this season to social justice. We're challenging you, the fans, to join us. Sky Takes Action means equality. Providing opportunities. Making an immediate impact. Means justice. Sky Takes Action means bringing the community together. Serving others it means family. Sky Takes Action means doing your part. Is encouraging others to do more, period. Sky Takes Action means using our platform to create change. Real change. We've partnered with Athletes for Justice to raise money for Chicago-based charities that are fighting for equality for all. For all.